uh, Scorpios out there. So um, please make sure to get my book at Amazon or BarnesandNoble.com. The link to that is in the description box below as usual. You can see my socials down here. Um, decided to add that to the channel, right? Basically in every video because I'm upgrading the, the channel, right? Giving y'all better quality of videos uh, as, you know, pushing the envelope um, as well as if you'd like to drop any kind of donations or if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, if you have Instagram, those are my socials down there. So I already shuffled up the cards, right? So we don't have to keep doing that, you know, seconds wasting. So the cards that I come up with are the Nine of Wands, the Chariot, the Fool, right? Then we have the Ten of Cups, the Nine of Cups, the Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and last but not least, you have the Three of Wands. So what I'm seeing here for this is, I'm seeing how a lot of you Scorpios, um, That's interesting. A lot of you Scorpios right now, I'm seeing how a lot of you Scorpios right now want to, um, how do I say, like a lot of y'all want to have a lot of fun right around now. Um, right around now. And what I mean by that is um, a lot of you Scorpios right now are interested in working, okay? That's your idea of fun, okay? The Nine of Wands, the uh, Chariot, the Fool, you just wanna work. But a lot of you Scorpios right now not seeing, is not necessarily seeing the bigger picture that if you work and you work and you work, you can essentially work yourself into an early situation if you catch my drift. It's not healthy for you to constantly be doing the work in all the time like that. So the 10 of cups and the nine of cups, these cards represent how you Scorpios need to learn to relax and enjoy yourselves a little bit, you know? Most definitely. Take it from the lower octave of you, which is cancer and learn to relax, you know? There's one thing you can say about cancer crabs is that when they want to relax, they know how to relax, okay? Um, so learn how to relax, you know? But then again, too, Scorpio is not necessarily a zodiac sign known for its relaxation. It's more so known for its tension and seriousness. But seriously, though, and the reason why I'm saying that is because of the cards, right? Like the two of wands represents... Again, the caution of working too hard, that you can end up um, doing a lot of unnecessary damage to yourself if you work too much, too long. The King of Pentacles is, you know, me, me basically seeing your intentions. I know a lot of you Scorpios really want to be able to get the bag, but right, and have some money, but really relax, you know. Um, the Nine of Swords is, again, you work so much to the point where it's really going to get on your nerves. You're really going to be in a situation where, you know, if you don't learn, like I said, how to relax, you're going to kind of be stressed out and kind of paranoid, right? You're going to be thinking, whoa, well, what, where is this stuff really going to go? Am I really going to actually uh, have enough, right? What is going on with me right now where, you know, I feel like I don't have enough money. So all of these different worries is going to pop into your head. And that's why it is I was saying, give it a rest so that you can take some time off and see that you're not necessarily in a very bad uh, position. Now, the Eight of Cups and the Three of Wands represents how, since this is the case, you need to understand that. You need to understand that what this means for you is leave that type of ideology behind that you're not doing enough. You're doing too much right around now, actually. And the Three of Wands represents, um, uh, the three, yes, the Three of Wands uh, pretty much represents that if this is the case, again, this can lead to very terrible things for you. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that to scare you or to get on your nerves. I'm saying that because, because life needs to have, you need to do everything in moderation which is why Libra has the scales. 
everything in moderation, okay? Um, the left pillar, okay, the left pillar, which is um, here, the left pillar, which is here, right? Where my middle finger is, the left, uh, <laughs> excuse me, pillar, is this, which is here, is um, severity, okay? And the right pillar, which is over here, is mercy, okay? This is where it is that you get the whole Joshin and Boaz thing, okay? So why that's, so the thing is why that's important in the first place is because when you bring those two things together, you get moderation, okay? Um, mercy with severity. You do things too much, right? Uh, uh, you're too severe, right? Where you're working hard, you're gonna cause yourself damage. You play too much, you're not gonna get anything done. So everything in moderation. Now let's clarify the three of wands. Okay, you have the strength, three of swords, the queen of wands, right? So the strength card represents, you may try to act as if like you don't need any sleep. Yes, you do, okay? Lack of sleep will drive you up a wall. Trust me, you know what I mean? Because I've studied it. Um, the the uh, three of swords represents this being a situation where the Three of Swords represents you're closer to your goals than what you actually think, okay? The Queen of Wands represents if you have the ideology that you're further away, you're actually quite wrong. You're closer than what it is that you actually think to your goals. So that's pretty much it. Uh, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe. Let me know what you think of the state of my YouTube channel. If you like it, if you see the quality being... You know, if you see the quality rising or if you see the quality lowering, right, I'm just full of it. Let me know. Peace.